Seven Negro Leagues will be elevated to Major League status, a move that opens the door for at least 3,400 black professional baseball players to get the historical appreciation they have been denied of getting for decades. About damn time. Dave Sims, baseball lifer and Mariners broadcaster, says the MLB's decision to elevate the Negro Leagues to Major League status Wednesday is long overdue. The Negro Leagues existed because guys didn't have an opportunity to play. This means thousands of black players who played in the Negro Leagues are now officially major leaguers. In a release, Commissioner Rob Manfred says the move was to correct a longtime oversight. It's exciting from a, from a historical standpoint. Because when you look at, you know, the American history, you know, there's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs, and this was one of them. In the late 60s, a special committee on baseball records selected six leagues as major league status, but never considered any of the Negro Leagues, which played out of necessity from 1920 to 1948. I'd say items A, B, and C, it was all about racism <laughs> and didn't want any part of us. The MLB said the omission was clearly an error, and they're working on how to integrate Negro League statistics. You know, guys like Willie Mays, who played a year, I think a year or two in the, in the uh, Negro Leagues, and a few other guys, some of their numbers are going to be changed. And it'll be interesting to see what the final numbers were the, that they come up with, Josh Gibson, Satchel Page, and all the guys that you, when you think about the Negro Leagues, those are the guys at the top of the food chain. The MLB has been trying to improve its diversity and increase its black players. In 2020, only 7.8% of players on opening day rosters were black. It, it, it's going to take a while. I mean, I, I hope to be around the scene when it maybe gets up to 17, 18% like it was back in the 70s. In September, the Seattle Mariners announced their inaugural group for the Home Team 9 program, which focuses on young players of color and will support them through their journey in baseball paying for all costs associated with equipment and training. It's part of the team's larger effort to get more diversity in the game of baseball. In Seattle, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.